JJC with First Half Sports. The local racing season comes to an end. You're kidding me? Summer's over already? Gone just like that? Yeah. Oh. Wow, another great season of racing at Thunder Road. And the late model sportsmen wrapped up the ACT Tour Fall Foliage 200 yesterday. Steve Corsi and photographer Steve Longchamp, Ron Corey Hill, where track champions were decided in all three divisions, starting with the street stocks. With the skull and crossbones flying, Dent and Dave Allen got in trouble in turn three, ending his title hopes. And after narrowly escaping his own disaster, Brendan Moody Jr. brings home the 94 car in one piece to lock up his first track championship at the high banks. I turned 17 at the beginning of the year, and I never thought I'd be no champion, but I always dreamed of it. Thunder Road is just a track of New England, and any I think it's the best short track racing in the whole world. A lot of people talk about it. You know? And you're a champion here. That's awesome. I can't believe it. In the Flying Tigers division, Joe Steffen came into the 50-lap feature as the T-Road points leader. And Double O Joe does not disappoint, coming home second to John Hayes and winning the Tigers division track title. It's been a long time coming, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, 14 years we've been trying for this and finally got it. Man, does it feel good. We're going to have a little fun tonight, I'm sure. There'll probably be a small party over at the Double O race shop tonight. Craig Bushy in the 05 runs well enough to secure his own championship in the four-race Flying Tigers Grand Slam. You know, kind of young, only 22. Most of these guys have been at it eight, nine, ten years. So it uh, feels real good and crew strong. They want to come back and do it again. We're going to try next year, see what we can do. Phil Scott clinched the ACT Tour title with points he earned in qualifying, but the T-Road Track Championship was still up for grabs with Eric Williams only 13 points behind Scott coming into the Fall Foliage 200. Halfway through the late model main event, Cooper McRitchie with the lead, but Williams and Scott closing the gap. Only problem, Williams needed to win and hope Scott slipped out of the top five. I knew what I had to do. I had to keep uh, Eric within sight. It was almost like a milk bowl where you know where everybody is and position-wise and points-wise, and, and I knew where he was. Scott passed McRitchie for the lead on lap 111, and he would finish second only to 19-year-old Ryan Moore in the 47 car. I know Phil Scott was racing me as hard as he could. You know, he's not the type of guy to lay down, and he wasn't laying down for second. He was going for the win just like I was. So, you know, I, I definitely knew that he was hungry just like I was. Moore, the unrivaled ACT Tour Rookie of the Year, wins the race, but Scott makes it a triple crown following up his Airborne Track Championship with the Thunder Road title and the ACT Tour crown all in the same season. The ACT Dodge Tour uh, Series was the important one. We'd finished second so many times before. We, we thought we had it a couple of years ago, and, and it just didn't, didn't work out. We couldn't close the deal. So uh, this is really special. The ACT Dodge Tour Series, is the, that's the big one. So Phil Scott caps off another exciting racing season at the high banks with his third track championship. At Thunder Road and Barry, Steve Corsi, Channel 3 Sports. No, we could officially close out summer. No, That's the end of racing at Thunder Road. Right. Sad. All right, local racing fans gathered at the Sheridan on Saturday night for the ACT Dodge Tours annual Banquet of Champions. It was a night to pay tribute to those who have blended the spirit of competition with old-fashioned good sportsmanship in making stock car racing what it is here in the Northeast. Mike McCune has the story. The man of the night was the driving senator, Phil Scott of Montpelier. He took the podium to accept the trophies, honoring a triple crown season where he won the Airborne and Thunder Road Late Model Track Championships as well as the ACT Series title. Scott was a model of consistency in 2002. He never won a race, but in 16 events he finished worse than 11th just once and racked up nine top fives en route to his first ACT Series Championship. I'm going to let you in on the secret to success, and you can apply this to almost anything you want, whether it's racing, business, politics, or family. It's really pretty simple. You surround yourself with good people, people that are better than yourself. You have to, be, you have to swallow your pride, be honest, and be truthful with yourself, and identify and accept your weaknesses. And let these people that are better than you know how important they are to you. The most emotional moment of the evening came when Super Joe Fecto of Hardwick was presented with the Eddie Carroll Street Stock Sportsmanship Award. 
The award renamed in honor of Carroll, a longtime T Road employee who was killed last month when he was struck by a stray hunter's bullet at his home in Berlin. I don't know if I deserve it any more than any of the other street stockers. Because we were all, uh, we all liked him pretty well. I remember him very well because he picked on us all. <laughs> he treated me like one of the kids, you know, probably just as old as he was. <laughs> and uh, he kept us in line, and that is true. Well, I suppose on behalf of all the street stock, I think you all deserve just as much as I do. Thank you. The man who designed the spec motor used on the tour, Dave McMaster of Maine, was given the Don McTavish Award for his outstanding contributions to the tour. And WCAX photographer Steve Longchamp, the man responsible for all the great video from Thunder Road and Airborne that you see here on Channel 3, was presented with the Ken Squire Award for his years of dedicated effort in bringing all the action of the ACT tour to the public. All right, thanks a lot, Michael. Other winners, Tim Martin, the most improved driver in the late model series, while Herb Drug won the Sportsmanship Award. Pete Ainsworth, the most improved in the Flying Tigers division, where double-O Joe Steffen was honored for his good sportsmanship. So another season is quite a ways off, but you know what? It's only 27 days till Daytona, so we can start talking, right? <laughs> You optimist. Here we are freezing and you're thinking of Daytona. Good for you. Coming up, a tribute to Martin Luther King. A group in Plattsburgh sings his praises when we come back. <laughs>